What's going on everybody? It's Joel here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rogue Mach Speed SR343 jump rope. So up until about 10 minutes ago, I thought this jump rope still costed $110. That's what I paid for it about a year ago now when I bought it when it first came out. I've had this jump rope for a long time now. I've put it through its paces. I've compared it extensively to my Evo rope, which I consider to be the gold standard of speed ropes. And while I thought it was a tough sell for $110, I thought that you were probably better off just spending the extra 20 bucks on an Evo rope. For about half the price at $75, the case for the Rogue SR343 just got a whole lot more compelling. The build quality of the Rogue SR343s is excellent. It uses an aircraft grade aluminum. It's very lightweight, especially in comparison to the Evo rope. The finish is a powder coated finish that is a little bit rough in texture. It has held up very well over the last year that I've had it. There are a few nicks and scratches here and there, but nothing that is going to detract from the overall sleekness and look of the handles. You can also get this rope in a few different colorways with a Cerakote finish. The middle part of the rope is covered by a urethane gripping portion which is very comfortable it's easy to hold these when you get very sweaty during wads and then the base is ergonomically shaped so it fits in the palm of your hand very easily like all of Rogue's jump ropes the cable comes with one end that's already crimped on and then you get a little nut to adjust and then you would just size it and clip off the excess cable as you please the Evos, you do have to buy Arc Smart Gear's proprietary cables, but they don't cost that much more than a replacement Rogue cable does anyways. They're about $10 both ways. This is the best cable that Rogue has ever used. It's a nylon coated cable. It's quite a bit thinner than both the SR1 and the SR2 cables. It holds its shape much better than either of those do in the air, though it's not quite up to par with the bare cable of the Evo rope. But you can get a replacement bare cable that should hold its shape in the air a little bit better and also move through the air a little bit faster. Though the cable does hold its shape pretty well, it is a little bit on the light side so you do lose out on feedback when you're using it for those longer sets of double enters when forearm fatigue starts to set in. The bearings of this rope spin very smooth and very fast but I think all of Rogue's ropes pretty much spin on par with each other. They're all not as good as the bearings on the Evo rope which are ridiculously fast and smooth but I mean when you're at this level of performance you're really splitting hairs and I don't think anyone's going to notice that much of a difference when they're actually using the rope between the SR343, the Evo rope, the SR2, and even the SR1, which has very, very good performance for its price point. You can easily rip through double unders, triple unders, singles, whatever. They're probably not the best freestyle jump rope, but these are made for pure speed and double unders. If you were working on your triples, there's probably no better options than the SR343 and the Evo rope. So at the end of the day, when you're picking between the SR343 the SR2 and the SR1s, you're really just picking between ergonomics of the handles and the materials that they're using. You can easily just replace the cables out of any of the cheaper ones for some of the nicer cables that Rogue sells, maybe in the bare cable for like $10 and you come close to the performance of the SR343. I still think the Evo rope is the best jump rope that money can buy, but it's also $129. It's also the most expensive jump rope that money can buy. I still think it's worth every penny, but if you're looking for another just really fast jump rope, it's made in the United States, has very good handles, a little bit lighter than the Evo rope, then I definitely recommend that you check out the SR343s. For $110, I would say just go for the Evo rope, but at half the price, $75, I think it's a very strong jump rope, especially at its price point. Though don't expect that much of an upgrade in performance over the SR2 or even the SR1. If you guys have any questions about the SR343, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.